Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, our country together, and how we're going to fix both of them. And the content that we're about to talk about is the alarm sounding, the freaking out, as it were, from the gun controllers in a Hill article where they're saying that all of a sudden their precious gun control is at risk if Trump were to be elected because it can be undone with the stroke of a pen. Now, of course, if you've been a fan of this channel and you've known for a while, we've been talking about exactly that. What can be put in with the stroke of a pen through executive orders can be taken out with the stroke of a pen through executive orders. Everything is coming to full circle as we talked about, as we predicted. If you guys make it happen, it'll happen, and they're freaking out about it. Everything's going to be linked in the description box below. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And of course, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn the notification bell on if you want that freedom from coast to coast, border to border. And thank you in advance for that consideration. All right, guys, listen. This is something that we have said for about three years now since the Biden administration went on their deluge of uh, executive orders against our gun rights. Biden-Harris made America safer. Donald Trump could undo their progress instantly. All right, so this is from The Hill. This is an opinion piece from a gun controlling group. The reason that I'm hitting this is because they are scared that everything that they instituted through the executive order of the Biden administration and executive actions against our gun rights will be ripped out from the root if Trump is put in, which is the whole point that we're endorsing the push towards Trump. That's the idea. We get him in here, rip this stuff out from the root. It undermines four years of their gun control desires. This would be a massive blow. But let me show you what they're saying. Again, you can see the date right there, 10 24 This is from the day before yesterday. Crime and murder rates have fallen over the past two years, and a new Biden-Harris regulation aimed at the black market and guns could drive them even lower. But voters should know that if Donald Trump gets reelected, major progress on guns could end with the stroke of a pen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You mean like the massive infringements that you just took the authority from Congress, made it yourself because you signed executive actions and orders utilizing the bureaucratic alphabet agencies against our gun rights nationally? You mean that one? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Let's go ahead and make sure voters do know that. Let's make sure voters know that when Trump gets in, the executive orders that did all that and cost four years of fighting for us can be ripped out, undermining their entire push. Anyway, let's continue because again, this is the reason that we covered this stuff when it was dropping out. All we need to do is get the lever of power, and this can be removed a lot easier than legislation. Let's get it. Individuals seeking to sell or transfer ownership of their personally owned guns may do so, as long as the seller is not deemed engaged in the business of selling firearms. That's one of the rules that they made up whole cloth through executive action. But over the years, this tiny loophole became a gaping chasm such that today, for every 10 guns used by criminals, four are purchased without background checks. Kind of throws you a little wrench in the idea that uh, criminals follow the law. So when they do these types of little exposés and these editorials and these opinion pieces, they always undermine their gun control promises. It's not even a game anymore. Now it's just fact. Yeah, this will stop all the issues. The background check system. Well, wait a minute. Criminals are circumventing the background check system. Wow. Anyway, let's continue. In what became known as the gun show and internet loopholes, private buyers and sellers now flock to physical sites and gun shows or to the internet websites to sell guns to strangers. No strings attached. One million ads for guns are posted online each year that could escape background checks. Of inmates who have been convicted of gun offenses, again, 96% of those prohibited from having firearms when they committed the crimes got them from unlicensed sellers. Almost like it's undermining the gun control promises again. This is a really important piece you have to understand. If you're not fully in the gun world, you aren't involved in the gun fight, you're not a two-way advocate, you just care about freedom and you don't know all the details, let me show you something really important that I'm hitting on here. What they do is they make these grandiose promises to infringe upon your rights with things like background check systems and universal background check systems and everything is great and hunky-dory. It'll solve all the problems. Meanwhile, we tell you that it won't solve the problems because the problem's in the hearts and the minds of our population and our culture, not in what's inanimate object in our hands. So when you get these rules and criminals find a way to break the law, which by definition, criminals break the law, all of a sudden they go, we need more gun control laws on the law-abiding population because criminals are criminaling. And then they send articles out completely undermining their point and act like they didn't. Let's continue. Oh, what did I just say? All right, the one million. Let's, let's get down here because now we're getting to the part where they're talking about what we've been hitting. 
These sales are now regulated thanks to an underappreciated law and clever executive action by the Biden-Harris administration. Um, I appreciate it fully. I hate it with every bit fiber of my being because it's an usurpation of power of our um, congressional system. But other than that, yeah, underappreciated. And it's so clever. It wasn't clever. He wrote executive laws to circumvent Congress. Anyway, the gay, the gau, gauzy, that's a weird word. The Gauzy engaged in business language that created the private sale loophole was replaced with make a profit in the Bipartisan Safe Communities Act passed in 2022. Thank you, John Cornyn and Tom Tillis, Republican turncoats, all of them. That simple change allowed the administration to issue new regulations to require people selling their own guns for a profit to obtain a federal firearms license and perform background checks on all buyers, whether the transaction takes place at a store, gun show, or online. So literally, if you make $1 profit on any gun you've ever had and you sell it, you now have to be a, a dealer in FFL. You can't sell a gun anymore. It's your private property. It's your second amendment right. But now, but thank goodness, it's so clever. Clever executive action. These people have their mouths on the teat of this government. Anyway, but the fight is not over. This is where the warning comes in. Executive orders can be reversed by any president. Yep, and it's gonna be too. Donald Trump has attacked the new law and the Biden-Harris regulations. Good. Trump is also endorsed by the National Rifle Association and other gun extremists who have convinced a federal judge in Texas to temporarily block the background check requirement from taking effect. With Trump as president, gun rights extremists won't need courts to rule on their weak legal case. And it won't matter to Trump that the 86% of Americans want background checks for all firearm sales. Guys, they're telling you the part out loud, the quiet part, the part that they don't want you to know, the part that they promised all this incredible executive action, but it's going to be ripped straight out from the root. This is the entire point. They're trying to lay the groundwork to scare people away from Trump by saying he's going to undo all the illegal gun control actions that the Biden administration has taken through clever executive orders. Guys, this is, this is the whole fight in a summation. They're telling you what we've been talking about for the last three years on this channel. This can all be undone putting the right person in power and getting them to actually do it. I know it's two different things, but listen, step by step. Step one, get them in power. Now, this last little piece right here. The Biden-Harris administration recognized that with rights come responsibilities and that those who exercise their Second Amendment right must do so without subverting our background check system, but the new regulation only exists at the whim of whoever is the president. Right there, guys. They will always tell you what they are pet petrified of. They will always tell you where they are afraid because they start issuing fear um, opinion articles like this. They are incredibly transparent, but that's why I bring them to you and point out exactly what's happening. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I landed that plane, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.